house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outfox the other. Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. A warm, if wet, welcome to you. Conditions not ideal here today. My name's Guy Mowbray, and I'm joined by Sue Smith on the gantry, and we've got live championship football coming up. How do you see this one going then, Sue? Well, thanks as always, Guy. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's been buzzing ahead of kickoff. Let's hope the football lives up to the atmosphere. This is how the hosts line up. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. This is the visitors' team for today. Yeah, it looks like a 4 5 1 or a 4 2 3 1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker, but you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. Space now to get a crossover. Not forcing the issue, moving the ball nicely. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Making good progress here. Able to skip past his man. What a chance! And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. They decide against putting it into the box. They're not getting close enough here. Cut back nicely. Chance to deliver into the box. Looking to cut inside. They're just looking now for that final pass through. To edge ahead. And it's off the frame of the goal. You've got to feel for him here. He's done everything right, and it's the woodwork that keeps it out. So cruel. And that whistle brings the first half to a close. Well, he hasn't hit the heights we know he's capable of to this point. He can only get better from here on in. Yeah, he has worked hard, though. Pretty unlucky not to be on the score sheet, too. Really hasn't been too much between these two sides, so he could prove pivotal in the second half, I feel.
Well, it's even Steven after an entertaining first half. Will we get a winner in the second 45? Keeping it nicely, waiting for the chance to get themselves in front. Moving it forward with purpose, something on maybe. They won't take it from him there. Just waiting for the moment to break through. Could get it over now. Good challenge, and the throw-in will follow. Field Wednesday, coming off the pitch, number 13, Colin Patterson, to be replaced by number 36, Ian Pavelder. Promise developing. Trying his luck. A little careless there as the ball changes hands. Now, if they score from this, they'll surely win the game. Oh, and a good save to keep it level. What a stop from the keeper. He does so well at this stage of the game, too. Excellent work. Corner kick played in. Decent-looking attack, this. Players waiting in the centre. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. And there goes the final whistle. It's all over. Start of extra time. Liam Palmer to be replaced by number four, Will Hawks. Good spell. Looking for that all-important next goal. And he's got that one away. A 
move of real promise now. The first 15 minutes of extra time are over. Wednesday. So away we go again. Another 15 minutes. Has the space to whip it in here. Well, he's lost the ball, and any chance has gone. Making good progress here. Oh, it was a good try, but it stays goalless. It's a really good try, Guy. This wasn't a bad effort, but they have to make one of these chances count. This looks really good. Could we see a winning goal? Space now to get a crossover. Coming in field now. And it's on now. And it goes behind for a corner. A goal now could win the game. corner is fired in only half the job done there delivered into the box and that should do it a late goal and more than likely a winning goal Here it is again, and the keeper won't be happy with his position in here. Leaves a lot of the goal to aim at, but it still has to be finished off, which he does so convincingly. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. Yeah, it was a disappointing performance from there, and they give the ball away too many times for me. Didn't play with the intensity we're used to seeing. They'll need to recover quickly from this, though.